This video was made possible by Wix. If you are ready to create a website, head over to wix.com slash go slash infographics to try out one of their premium plans right now. Ever gotten a strange look while on holiday? You sense that you have broken some kind of cultural rule, but can't for the life of you work out what it is. Maybe you pointed your feet at a religious statue, or looked somebody straight into their eyes. Today we'll look at things that Europeans think are perfectly normal, but the rest of the world thinks are ridiculous. In this episode of the Infographic Show, European behaviors considered rude in other countries. In parts of the UK, it's okay to turn up at a friend's house and just let yourself in through the back door, perhaps without even knocking. That sort of behavior could land you in hot water elsewhere in the world. Most Europeans leave their shoes on when entering a house or religious building. This is considered to be extremely rude in Southeast Asia, where shoes should be left outside the home. Line jumping is a big issue in most of Europe and particularly in the UK, but in parts of Asia, it is considered perfectly acceptable and even expected. On the subway in Asia, you will see passengers rush towards the last empty seat. In Europe, they would normally look around and decide who needs the seat most. It is okay to sit with your feet up in most of Europe, whereas in most Buddhist countries, this is considered deeply offensive. The feet are considered a dirty part of the body and should be out of sight most of the time. Likewise, a pat on the head is considered a friendly gesture in London, but it could land you in deep trouble in Bangkok. The head is a holy, sacred part of the body and not to be interfered with. If you drop a coin in Europe, it isn't the end of the world to use your feet to stop it from rolling away. But in parts of Asia, this is considered disrespectful to the royal family and the nation and is considered totally rude. Never step on a coin. Nudity is considered acceptable on most of Europe's beaches, with women often sunning themselves in their birthday suits. In parts of Asia, America, and the Middle East, this could get you locked up. Recently, a woman was arrested for walking through the streets of Bangkok naked. Walking around shirtless, if you're a male, is considered almost as rude in Thailand, especially if you happen to have tattoos and you're eating or drinking at the same time. In fact, in the Philippines, it will actually get you locked up. The Japanese also dislike the walking and eating thing, although the younger generations seem to be cooler with it. Public displays of affection, such as holding hands and kissing, are perfectly normal in, say, Paris or Rome, but taboo in most of the Middle East and Asia. In the US, you should refrain from kissing somebody who isn't a friend, lover, or family member. In Europe, it's okay to get close to people, even to embrace strangers with a kiss. This is taboo in most other countries. Conversely, Londoners are very aware of social space, especially when walking in large cities, they may become angered if other commuters simply stop in front of them on the sidewalk or stand at the bottom of a set of escalators. Londoners are always aware of others' public space and don't step inside it. This display of anger over territorial space in a public area simply baffles most Asians, who have a much more relaxed perception of space, time, and travel. Europeans consider it very rude to enter an elevator before first letting the people inside exit. In Asia, they do it all the time. Americans are sticklers for please and thank yous, whereas in Europe, lack of polite particles are often overlooked and accepted. In London, the punk group The Sex Pistols openly mocked the royal family. That sort of behavior would see you behind bars in many countries. Also, television comedian Rowan Atkinson openly mocks the eccentricities of his own countrymen, which is something that could put you in hot water in other parts of the world. Most countries outside of Europe are super sensitive about their national flag, so never joke about the flag or use it in an offensive manner. In America, insulting the flag, the constitution, the bald eagle, military veterans, or in any other way insulting the patriotic status quo is to be avoided. Chewing gum is normal in much of Europe, but illegal in Singapore. Pointing in Europe is considered okay, but not okay in many other countries. In Europe, it is considered rude to ask people their age, but in parts of Asia, it is essential. Once you establish their age, you can employ the appropriate polite particles while engaging in conversation. While writing someone's name in red ink is usually okay in Europe, it is not something you want to do in Korea. In Europe, it is considered rude not to look someone in the eye when talking to them. In the Middle East, however, women are not supposed to make eye contact with men as it is considered both rude and flirtatious. Travelers to Dubai have received lengthy jail sentences for public kissing. In 2009, a British couple were caught publicly kissing and were handed a three-month prison sentence before being deported. An Indian couple, also in Dubai, were sentenced to one year in prison after hugging in a taxi. The taxi driver drove them directly to the police station and handed them in. Also, if traveling to the United Arab Emirates, make sure you leave any cough, cold, or headache remedies at home or get a full doctor's prescription, as many over-the-counter drugs in Europe are banned, with travelers receiving heavy sentences for bringing them into the country. So wherever you travel to, and whoever you travel with, 
make sure you do a little research into the do's and don'ts and the country's customs before booking that flight. It might just save you from some severe embarrassment or worse, a legal nightmare. And while you're at it, you should also research who is the best website builder and platform. We're positive the answer you'll find is Wix. Wix is a professional and robust platform for creating, managing, and hosting your website. With Wix, you'll never have to worry if your website is safe and secure. Plus, Wix offers you true creative freedom when designing your website. If you want to build a UFO sighting website, Wix has a solution for you. If you want to start a UFO fan club, Wix has a solution for you as well. Create an amazing website and support the infographic show at the same time by going to wix.com slash go slash infographics or clicking the link in the description. So, what do you think is the rudest behavior? Which is the rudest country? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you're into rivalries, be sure to watch our other episode called Google vs. Facebook. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!